right, so I found the rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries for the DC-280. They're Kodak, their original Kodak batteries. AA HR6, 1600 milliamp hours, nickel metal hydride, 1.2 volts. Made in Japan, and basically that's about it. Do not open or dispose of in fire in many different languages. You can see that they are corroded. All of them are. You can see that one has a little bit of corrosion there. It's kind of dented. This one is the worst out of all of them. Don't know where it leaked out of because there's no corrosion on the bottom. And that one has just a little bit of blue corrosion there. That doesn't matter. Those are all going to be disposed of. I also got an Ethernet cable that uh, is not broken. And I'm going to use that to replace my white one. But that's not the point of this video. I looked more closely and thought about this connector, this cable here. And I have determined that, like I said, it is the cable for the DC-280. I'll tell you how I figured that out. It's really simple, actually. Most, um, or actually all PC serial 9-pin ports are, um, mail connectors. That is, they have the pins. This is a female connector. This would fit into that connector. And that's how I figured it out, that that's what it is. And the pinout is definitely good. Which leads us with this. What the hell is this? I, don't, I almost don't have the heart to do this, but you know, what the hell. The camera's probably not worth anything, so... It might be fixable. Oh, it's taped, isn't it? Oh, you know what? I don't have to rip the package apart in order to do this. I don't actually have to rip the package into pieces in order to do that. I could just tape it back together, and then nothing will ever ever happen. What the hell is this? You may be asking. That is a very good question. You see we have a male DB9 port, and this round connection. What could this be for? Well, let me show you what I think that's for. Now this is probably going to prove me a liar and not be the actual connection for this, but so what? Let's find out. Oh, where would it be? Scuzzy, blah blah blah, there it is. Right here. I was right. This is an Apple serial adapter. So there's your Apple serial connection. They call it the Macintosh serial, it's not Mac. The pins are bent. So I want to, I have this really weird, crazy scheme. I want to try something here. I'm going to see what happens when I plug this camera into this Mac. Of course, we're going to power it up first. It does not sound pretty. I don't know, maybe the hard drive is about to fail. I don't have any more SCSI drives, so that really sucks. But we're going to go ahead and connect the, uh, the connection here. Make sure that we align it properly. And you know what the hell? Let's do this. Maybe I can transfer photos onto that Mac. And then transfer them via floppy disk. No, that's, that's wishful thinking. I think the files are too big to be able to be transferred on a floppy. But there we go. There's our connector established. Go plug this into the Mac. Like it's supposed to be. Or not. Sorry for the terrible quality video. And shut up about the tripod, guys. I'm not going to use a tripod. It's right there. It is right there. But it gets in my way whenever I'm trying to film something, so that's why I don't use it. Alright, let's plug this in. Oh, I almost tripped on my connection here. As we wait for this to start, what the hell? To start up. What did I just... Oh, what a pain in the ass. I got it wrapped around my chair. How did that happen? Alright, so here we go. Let's hook this up. 
see what happens when we plug in the frickin' camera. It's probably gonna do absolute jack shit, but of course you don't know until you try it up. I probably need the software, so I should transfer this software over. So there's our connection made. Let's go get the damn camera and plug it in and power it on and see what blows up first. Okay, really? What the hell? Where's my connection? Hope I didn't just break something. Oh, I know what it got caught on. It got caught on this stupid thing. But there we go. Let's go get our camera and plug it in and do all that. No comments on the mess. Alright, the camera's plugged in. Let's power it on and see what goes boom. It's doing something. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Mac hasn't responded at all. Uh, okay, do I have a CF card in here? I must not have a CF card in here. Nope, I have one. All right. I think I have to get the damn software installed. And would you believe it? I don't have a floppy disk version of the goddamn software, so I have to go convert it to floppy disk. Oh well, it doesn't really matter to me. I can't really transfer it that way. But now we know what that cable is, so it's useful for other things. Now I know what that cable is, so I can use serial shit with my thing. And, um, well, we'll see what shows up. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I think I need to install the software, so let me, um, see if I can, uh, not concoct something here. Whoa, that talk about seizure Um, sorry about that, guys. Um, but as it turns out, the installer, which is what I want, is about seven megabytes, which will not fit on a floppy disk. You suck. So that kind of puts a damper on my experiment there. Made with Macromedia Flash. <laughs> you know it's old if it says Macromedia on it. So let's just eject that. Which means I can't really do much with it. If the installer is too damn big. I might get a SCSI CD-ROM drive for this thing, but those are X. Will probably be, like, those are below the bank, and I don't really need the software, or anything for that matter, anyway, because like I said, I have a Nikon that I can use to transfer all of the crap off of that card. But at least now I know I have a working, um, or at least I have a Apple serial-to-serial -serial connection, so I can do things that way.